Question 25A and A1 for sports medicine ask students to describe the role that sports medicine plays in meeting the demands of female athletes and is worth three marks. So here we need to look at describe the role that they play in meeting the demands of, and it need to be relating to, female athletes. So describe the role that sports medicine plays in meeting the demands of female athletes. If we have a look at our syllabus here, we'll notice that female athletes, eating disorders, iron deficiency, bone density, and pregnancy are the areas that need to be covered. Describe the need to provide the characteristics and the features. So looking at the characteristics and the features of each of these four areas in relation to sports medicine and the role they play. And if we look at our sample answer here, so what you know is you first of all you go through this, it goes through and starts talking about sports medicine plays an imperative role. So it's talking about the actual question itself, imperative role as it assists in eating disorders, area one, some such as anorexia nervosa and bulimia. It goes through what they talk through, what they lead to. Through the use of nutrition, sports uh, medicine is able to effectively address the problem. So we're talking about what the role they have of sports medicine. And, we, and this answer has been using words from the question, which is fantastic and shows an understanding. Sports medicine plays a significant role in iron deficiency, the second area of the syllabus, which is experienced by female athletes, using wording from the question. It talks about um, close observations, iron supplementation, and continues on down through there. Additionally, third point, sports medicine assists in bone density, as lower bone density can lead to bone-related diseases and fractures, such as a stress fracture. Through supervision of the athlete, sports medicine is able to continue. So again, we're using words from the question, sports medicine, the role, female athletes, we've got the syllabus areas in there. So we've covered one, eating disorders. Two, iron deficiency. Three, bone density, and then we keep going further down, and we've got, lastly, sports medicine. Again, addresses the demands of pregnancy or pregnant athletes by regular checkups, so we've gone on to the fourth area. So that's why this area is very, very well done. It is well set out. The four areas are there, wording from the question to continually reinforce what's been said, and as you'll notice, the student is able to talk about the role that they play, and that's that was the big part of this question. So my you know, as you just keep looking back at this, first of all, some of the concerns that I had was that, you know, students were listing the four areas from the syllabus instead of actually going through and explaining, you know, or describing them what they were, the characteristics and the features. So we should never be listing. Um, the information that was given was just too, too basic. Again, very general, didn't relate specifically to what needed to be mentioned. Um, poorly set out com compared to this answer. The four areas are there. We know exactly where they are. It's very well set out. Um, and you needed to relate the to the syllabus points. You weren't just talking about anything, but we're talking about the four specific syllabus points from our syllabus here relating to female athletes. Um, and the final thing was that not all points were covered, okay, out of the four. Overall, most students were able to perform quite well in this question, as you'd expect, considering you were given the four dot points beforehand. But the part that let them down was a little bit about the role. What actual part or what role does it play? So not just tell me what bone density is, but what role does that impact on for the females?